In tonight's Healthy Living, perhaps a silver lining to a sad reality. Doctors say the supply of hepatitis C-infected kidneys has actually increased because of opioid overdoses. With needle drug use, the hepatitis C infection is not uncommon, but thanks to new drugs available, those kidneys could be transplanted into patients with end-stage renal failure who also have hep C. Stats show about 15% of patients undergoing dialysis for serious renal disease are also infected with hepatitis C. Taking that and other factors into consideration, Dr. Mark Ekman from the UC Division of General Medicine did computer analysis to ultimately determine this, that it is better to wait less time for a kidney by getting an HCV-infected organ as long as treatment for the HCV follows transplantation. One of the reasons you cut dialysis time. Consider this, the wait for a non-infected kidney is typically two and a half years. The wait for an organ from an infected donor is about two-thirds of a year. You're saving about 12-13% uh, mortality risk by yeah. uh, transplanting sooner. It's um, a waste to discard these otherwise healthy organs, again now given the fact that hepatitis C is so treatable. The UC study is one of a few happening in this area of medicine. At least two others have looked at transplanting a hep C infected kidney into a non-infected patient. Any strides made could ultimately reduce wait times for folks on the kidney donation wait lists.